Good morning guys. I'm at the Gasteig, which is the cultural center here in Munich. Back in the early 20th century, this was the location of a beer hall called the Burgerbräu Keller, where something very, very historically important happened on November the 8th, 1939. Established in 1885, the Burgerbräu Keller was one of the largest beer halls in Munich. Famously as well, the Beer Hall Putsch of November the 8th, 1923 was launched from this location, where the Nazis tried to take power by force. Ultimately it ended with Adolf Hitler being arrested and serving a prison sentence for treason. After the Nazis came to power, on the anniversary of the Beer Hall Putsch, Adolf Hitler used to give speeches in the Burgerbräu Keller. In November 1939, a man named Georg Elser from Baden-Württemberg decided he was going to take matters into his own hands. Elser was a cabinet maker by trade. He moved from Baden-Württemberg to Munich and for 30 days leading up to the speech in 1939 he would visit the beer hall where he managed to plant a bomb with the idea of assassinating Adolf Hitler. Here we see Adolf Hitler giving that speech in the Burgerbräu Keller on November the 8th, 1939. Bear in mind that the bomb is placed underneath the swastika flag behind him. The damage afterwards was extensive. Eight people were killed and dozens were injured. So I'm right at the location where Georg Elser's bomb was planted. It exploded at 9.20 p.m. on the 8th of November, 1939. Adolf Hitler had already left the building 13 minutes earlier. He had a train to catch back to Berlin because he was planning for the invasion of France. It was very unusual for Adolf Hitler to cut a speech short. Normally he'd go on for two, two and a half hours. But on this occasion he had to catch a train back to Berlin because his flight had been cancelled because of fog. 13 minutes. 13 minutes after he left the building, the bomb exploded. And we don't know for sure what the course of history would have been had he been eliminated during that assassination attempt. Georg Elser was arrested on the Swiss border at 8.45 on the same night that the bomb exploded. It was only afterwards that the border guards realised that they'd got the man who'd made the assassination attempt. He had incriminating evidence on him, such as wire cutters and sketches of the pillar. Today at the Gasteig, there's a memorial to the location where Georg Elsa planted his bomb. After being brutally beaten by the Gestapo, Georg Elsa was found guilty of treason and initially he was held at Sachsenhausen concentration camp. Subsequently he was moved to this building here, the bunker building at Dachau concentration camp. And on the 9th of April, 1945, he was executed. <laughs>